First thing I want to say is that Jesus is Lord. This video is about the beast system. And it's my view and some of the things that I've experienced within the beast system because I've been a product of our society. <clears throat> In 2006, I got charged with charges that I wasn't guilty of. I went to prison for five years. Now, three and a half years of that five years was for something that I didn't do. <clears throat> 18 months of that five years was for something that I did do, and I did that in a different state. Now, I'm not going to go into specifics about my charges, but I do want to make some points. The prison system, the DOC, Department of Corrections, and the DOJ, the Department of Justice, is a money-making system. You know, there's a lot of things going on right now all around the world. And a lot of people are, have waken up to the fact that our world, not just the United States, <clears throat> is being run by elites, Freemasons, um, people in power with lots of money. And the system, the beast system, <laughs> which I've experienced <laughs> at my own fault, yeah, and at not my own fault. And I wouldn't be making this video had I not experienced the beast system when it wasn't my fault. Now, during this time that I was charged with these false charges, I was married. I had two children. I just barely had my second child, which was a girl. And uh, she was newborn. <coughs> well, because of these charges, I ended up doing time. Well, while I was in there, my wife left me and was still strung out on drugs and stuff. And yeah, we were, we were not living for the Lord then. I didn't even know God. I've heard about God, but at that time, I didn't know God. I didn't know Christ. I didn't know what the Holy Spirit was. I didn't know none of that stuff. So a lot of good came from me doing time <laughs> for something that I didn't do. And the 18 months that I did do for time for the time that I did that I was at fault for was because I went on the run from the charges that I wasn't guilty of and it was a decision that me and my wife both made <laughs> but anyway the beast system is very real the devil <clears throat> is very real and God is very real I thank God that I went through them things because I wouldn't know him today am I perfect? no do I seek God daily? <clears throat> Absolutely do. Even though I'm not perfect, I know that I never will be perfect until I'm given a new body. And I'm and I could see God and, and be in his presence where he is. As he is, like he is. Jesus is Lord, man. He paid the price so that we could all have a shot at being where God wants us to be, you know? But anyway, so recently, <clears throat> I acquired some new charges that I'm guilty of, but I was protecting my home. 
My truck. I knocked on the wrong door. Like, literally. I knocked on the wrong door. And the people that answered there had a gun. They asked me who I was looking for, and I told them, well, him and that other guy don't get along. So he shot my truck up. As I'm on my way to my truck to leave, he shoots my truck up, threatens to find out where I live, which I only live about two and a half blocks from him. And um, so I, I make it home, even though my radiator got hit and I leaked radiator fluid from his house to my house. Thank God that the, I was able to fix the truck, which cost me $800 later just in parts to fix my truck. I did all the work myself <clears throat> because we aren't the, you know, wealthiest people. Anyway, needless to say, I came home. I got a firearm. I protected my home. I expressed my Second Amendment right under the Constitution of the United States. And I protected my home. That night I asked the cops what they had done they said they had done the same thing. Now, the old person that I used to be would have came home, got the firearm, went back down there, and had a firefight with that person. But God changed me. I did what was right. I protected my home. So now I'm facing prison time again. But the guy shot my truck up. He ain't facing no time at all. This is the beast system we live in. He claims to be cartel. And I've been hearing lots of stuff here lately about <clears throat> our government, those that are in power right now, the Biden administration and whatnot, are in cahoots with the cartels here on the border. And I live by the border. Well, I think so. Why? Not because people say so. Because I've experienced it in my lifetime, back in 2006 when I got charged for those charges that I wasn't guilty of, because it's a money-making system. If you don't believe this, let's dig into it a little bit deeper. Our private in the military makes $1,733 a month. <laughs> now we're talking days here. Per inmate. $2,100 or $2, a day. That's what the state gets per inmate, per day. And you go do them figures. It is, it's terrible. <clears throat> I know, because I've been in there, that it doesn't, that we don't live like kings in there, in prison. I know that uh, $2,100 a day does not house us and feed us in a day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not funny. It really ain't. It ain't funny. It's downright despicable. It's tyranny on the highest level towards we the people. So my life has done a lot of, had a lot of changes and maneuvering because of these charges that I was falsely accused of. I'm a working man. I love to work. I could weld it and fabricate all day long. Can I go out here and get me one of these good jobs here in this town? Not even out at White Sands Missile Range because I'm a nobody here. Am I a good welder? Better believe it. Can I build anything? Yep. Can I get a job out there? Nope. The system keeps you under the thumb. And once you've been in the system, you stay under the thumb. I think we've been infiltrated, we the people, by them at every level. And I'm talking hospitals, whatever job, lawyers, motor clubs, everything. You better put some thought into that. And I love to ride motorcycles. <laughs> it's, 
it's it's just like the Bible says it was going to be. And it's going to continue to get worse and worse and worse with them birth pains until that baby comes. Be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is Lord. If you don't know it, you better get to know it. Get to stepping in that on that narrow path before it's too late. I love every one of y'all with the love that God give me. Wake up, Americans. Wake up, world. Get it. Look around you. Just dig into stuff for yourself. Bye.